Coast saw some of the highest snow totals for the storm. Hampton is one of the jackpot areas, collecting another 15 inches of snow nearly. And that is where we find our Gene Mackin tonight. Gene, how is it looking out there? Well, just look at all this fresh, fluffy, coastal snow. Like you said, Shelly, 15 more inches of snow here in Hampton. We are on Hampton Beach, and believe it or not, there is sand underneath all that snow somewhere. Maybe we'll find it in the summer. The good news about this storm, it was spread out over several days. The tide did not pose a big flooding danger. But now comes the cleanup. It takes a village to move these mountains of snow, especially when there's nowhere to go but up in the narrow streets near Hampton Beach. Just moving the snow, trying to keep up with it. It's crazy around here. It hasn't stopped for three weeks now. It just keeps adding on, adding on, and the way the wind blows through here, as soon as you shovel, it's back. If you don't keep up on it, it'll just pile up even higher than this, because this, this is too much. I'm all set with more snow. <laughs> no more snow. The boardwalk is buried under towering snowbanks. Every hint of summer frozen for a while. Plows keep making rounds on Ocean Boulevard, and the crew outside the Hampton House Hotel is keeping up with the off season snow blasts. I love it. The money's good, and yeah, keep it coming. So we just keep on shoveling, keeps people in shape, keeps them active. We'll complain it's only a few more weeks. And if you want to be exact about those few more weeks, spring is officially 37 days and 20 hours away. But who's counting? March 20th. It's a Friday. Mark your calendars. Until then, we're just going to sit here in this beach chair. Live in Hampton, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.